Hi, my name is Bill Poe. I'm the offense coordinator at South Lake Carroll High School in South Lake, Texas. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, our quarterback training program. Uh, we have a program that's been a, a vital part of our football tradition, and we uh, use it every spring to, to include our quarterbacks and to train them along with our receivers. I'm going to talk to you about our program and our manual that we folks go through each and every spring. First thing I'm going to talk to you about today is, you know, some of the things, our quarterback intangibles and our calendar. Uh, there are things that we, some characteristics we talk with our quarterbacks and what we, what we think is, is a, an important thing for them to understand and to know. And our calendar. Next point is the quarterback notebook. Uh, each spring we have each one of our quarterbacks come in with a, with a blank notebook. They have to come in and, and to we start creating their own playbook and go through each and everything of our offense. The the third point of our training program is we we want to create muscle memory through repetition. We want to throw and throw and catch as many times as we can through the spring and develop that rhythm and timing that it needs to be successful in the fall. Next point is the is the cameras. We we talk about these are a couple of last two points of things that we do. Uh, with our quarterback training for them to understand some things that we're trying to get accomplished. And our first thing is the cameras. And what do I mean by cameras is there, there are three different cameras we say that our quarterback has on a body. And that ties along with the, with the feet uh, and how they set them. Uh, the first thing is, first camera is if I'm a quarterback, I'm sitting there looking at my receiver, my first camera is in my, is in my <coughs> excuse me, my lead arm. And then as I come through and I step to throw, now my second camera is in my belly button, and I follow through. My third camera is in my, my throwing shoulder. And that is an easy way to, to tell a quarterback that, that uh, they need to make adjustments with their feet or they need to follow through better. Or we can just say camera one needs to get set better. Camera three needs to come through better. Uh, the next point, which is the one, two, three ball, it is basically a way of telling our quarterbacks what type of trajectory we want on the throw to the receiver. A one ball would be a ball that you would see on a straight line. A two ball would be uh, anywhere between a one and a three. And a three ball would be basically the trajectory that goes up and down and goes on the outside shoulder. So we have a way of telling our quarterbacks that we want this, a one ball or we want a three ball right here on this pattern or we want a two ball right here on this throw. A little bit about our philosophy of, uh, of quarterback training. Uh, we'll, we'll start at basically we want to employ a system of training quarterbacks. We believe that our quarterback training and program should begin in the seventh grade. And what we will do, we will identify uh, potential quarterbacks in the seventh grade and we'll start out with, um, with, at, with at least six to eight quarterbacks in the seventh grade. And the reasons are is because we don't want to get to a situation where we only start out with two quarterbacks in the seventh grade and by the time they get to the ninth grade, one moves off and now we only have one in the, one in the ninth grade. Uh, through consistent evaluation of our athletes, uh, we will have a method of identifying the young men who will play the quarterback in our program. Again, the process starts in the seventh grade. We'll, we'll uh, have, through early evaluation, we'll identify at least, at least six, no more than eight uh, quarterbacks in the program. As each one of these players enter the high school and the varsity level, the freshman quarterback coach and the varsity quarterback coach will have, have had a chance to evaluate. And by the time they reach 